Yo, what's good? About a year and a half ago, I dropped a video called Three Easy Music Video Lighting Setups. Fast and simple ways to get really good lighting within your music video projects. Now this went over really well. It went over so well that I wanted to follow this video up, but add color into the video lighting setups and also collab with my homie Tyler Casey on this video. Now this video is gonna be sponsored by Squarespace. And me talk about Squarespace all the time. Just know, if you wanna start a website, use promo code YCMHM for 10% off your first purchase. I'm gonna talk about them a little bit later within the video. Now before we even get into any of these lighting setups, when you're using color and it comes to using lighting, color and lighting together, use complementary colors. Complementary colors, yes, complementary colors. Colors that are opposite direction on a color wheel. If you're looking at a color wheel, you got a color right here. The color right here is gonna look best with that color in most instances. Forget everybody saying that teal and orange is played out. They're complementary colors. That's why they work so well together. So if you're doing color, use complementary colors. It will give you the color contrast that you need to make your footage pop. All right, let's get into it. Now this first lighting setup that we're gonna be looking at, ironically looks almost identical to one of the lighting setups that I did within the first three music video lighting setups video that I did about a year and a half ago, but I got a couple different variations of this lighting setup, so. Ah, oh, man, it's time to eat vitamins, what do you know? <laughs> I got a couple variations, so chill, just wait for a second. The first light that we're gonna take a look at in this setup is the key light. Now the key light source for this setup is gonna be the Aperture 120D Mark II and the Aperture Light Dome Mark II paired together. Now with this setup, I wanted to get a green color for our key light source. So what I'm using in this setup is a $5 plastic solution that you can get at pretty much any craft store. I did a video on this a couple years ago as well. I'll link it up above if you wanna check that out after this video. But it's just some cheap color plastic. And what I'm doing with this color plastic is I'm lining it inside of the light dome to give a soft green key light source for this setup. So I'm just taping it inside of the dome away from the actual light because I don't want it to burn or get hot or anything like that. I'm just lining the inside of the dome with this. Once we have our dome lined, we're gonna mount the 120D and the dome onto a boom arm off of a C-stand. Boom it up a little bit in the air, and I'm just gonna aim it down in my face at around a 45 degree angle. And this is gonna be our key light source for this setup. And the second light that we're gonna be taking a look at in this setup, our kicker light, hair light, whatever you wanna call it. I hear so many different names for these lights. Just pay attention to where the light is in reference to me in the setup. The second light is the Aperture MC. And this is Aperture's brand new portable light. I'm sure you've seen it somewhere on YouTube. It's 90 bucks, it's small, it can fit in your pocket. It's full RGB, so it can do any color that you can ever think of. It has lighting effects inside, so you can do paparazzi and flashes and lightning and all that cool stuff like that. And it also has magnets on the back, so you can basically stick it to anything metal. So you see here, I'm basically just sticking the Aperture MC straight to the C-stand in the setup. And since this is full RGB, I decided to go with the orange hue just to complement that green color that we have for our key light source. In camera, I decided to adjust the Kelvin temperature within our white balance to more of a cool tone. So now we see this green and it's becoming more of a teal tone. If you're doing anything with color lighting, setups, one thing to always keep in mind is that you can adjust the Kelvin within your camera to completely alter the entire image as well. Here's a very similar lighting setup with these exact same colors, but the hue is shifted more towards a warm tone. You guys can see it totally alters the entire image. And that's basically the lighting setup. It's very simple. If you wanted to take this a step further though, you can use the lighting effects within the Aperture MC. Now the effect that we're taking a look at right here is called the party effect within the MC. It basically just shifts the hue of the lights randomly. So if you're doing a music video and you wanna add some energy into your shots, you can obviously see how this could play a huge part into giving your video a different look. Here's my homie Tyler Casey with the next lighting setup. What's up guys, I'm Tyler Casey. I'm gonna walk you through this lighting setup that I did. This is a pretty simple three light setup that I like to use for music videos. So my key light is just an Aperture 120D with the Mark II dome on it. I have the magic cloth and I have the grid on there. Backlighting my subject, I have the Godox 150 watt with the Aperture Fresnel 2X and that has an orange gel on it. And that's just separating the talent from the black backdrop. Then as a fill, I have a little two foot quasar and that has a blue gel on it. What I did with the Aperture 120D Mark II is I actually had it on fireworks mode. So the light is flickering on and off. So when it goes black, you can actually see the hair light 
and the fill kind of filling in the face. So this kind of gives it a little bit more of a dramatic type look and it's really solid for performances. I've used this on a few of my music videos and I love the way it looks. You can see when I turn off the 120D, we see the backlight and the fill. Then when I turn off the fill, you can see what the backlight does. And you can see what they all do separately. They all look really cool by themselves, but all together it creates a really cool performance scene. If you want to hype this up a little bit more, I threw a smoke machine on and the smoke definitely adds a lot. So that's another way you can add some more to the scene. That's my setup. You can do it however you want with any light you want. Mix up the colors, change up the color temperature, have fun with it. You can do this on a super cheap budget with cheap lights. Check out this last lighting setup that YC did. Now, before we even get into this last lighting setup, how many of you guys hate when potential clients DM you online instead of email you? Is that just me? Is that just a me thing? If that's also you, make a website. <laughs> make a website. It's a perfect time for me to give a word to our sponsors today. Squarespace. Squarespace is the place to start a website. Everything's all in one. They have designer templates. If you want to start a blog, a store, a portfolio, or just have a central place to be contacted at for business, a website is crucial. So for the guys out there who are just like me and they hate people DMing them and they would rather them go to their website to check out their portfolio and contact them, start a website with Squarespace. Head over there right now and start your free trial. And you can also head over to squarespace.com forward slash YCMagen for 10% off your first purchase. The link will be down in the description. All right, now for this last and final lighting setup in this video, it's a very dark vibe. It reminds me of how like Kid Art lights the majority of his videos. Now the first light that we're gonna get into in this setup is the key light. Now we're using the Aperture MC for our key light source within this video. The Aperture MC has a quarter 20 thread at the bottom of it. So basically how I have this mounted is, I have a ball head on the end of a boom arm on a C stand, and I basically just screwed the Aperture MC into that ball head, and now I have full angular motion of where I can mount this and where I want it to uh, face in terms of the lighting setup. So I have this boomed above my face, just aiming straight down. I wanna give that spooky vibe, that dark vibe to it. I have the hue of this changed to a red tone. Red is awesome, it just feels like dark. <laughs> I don't know, I just like red, it's cool. And the next light in this setup is the Aperture 120D Mark II and the Light Dome Mark II again, using that exact same green lining inside to give off that green color. Now this is placed right off of camera and aimed straight at the background. And the difference within the Aperture 120D in this setup and the last one is we're using the end lighting effects on the Aperture 120D. Now this particular effect is called Paparazzi. There's a ton of other ones, but basically Paparazzi just randomly flashes. And it makes the background look cool, it makes the shot look cool, and it adds in a lot more energy than just having two stagnant lights in a setup. That's pretty much it, it's very simple. Like I said, both of these lights have effects within them, so if you want to have the background solid and then turn the paparazzi effect on on the Aperture MC, this is something that you can do. Or you can have both of them flash, and you can have one on fireworks mode, or you can have one on lighting mode. There's so many different things that you could do to take these lighting setups to the next level using these lights if you decide to use them. But that's pretty much it. Shout out to my homie Tyler Casey for collabing with me on this video. He does amazing music videos just like myself and he also has a really, really, really dope effects company called Cinepax. Tons of transitions there, uh, video assets, uh, film overlays, mats. It's just too many things for me to even describe in this video. So I'm gonna leave links down in the description of Tyler Casey for YouTube, Instagram, and also Cinepax. If you end up there and you decide to buy something, you can use promo code YC5 to get $5 off your purchase. So that's a gift from me and Tyler to you. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Head down to the comment section and let me know which of these lighting setups was your favorite and uh, are you interested in more lighting setup videos? Because I would definitely do some more if that's the case. Drop this video a like, uh, subscribe if you're new here. And if you are heavily into music video production, like myself, I just launched a Patreon where I go over all of my music video production in depth. I'm talking about the pre-production, I'm talking about budget breakdowns, post-production, color grading, behind the scenes, everything. If you're interested in music video production on a serious level and you want to make this a career path, definitely consider subscribing to my Patreon because that's something dope as well. Link will be down in the description. I'm done rambling though, I'm out. Have an amazing day. Go get your lighting popping. <laughs> I'm out, peace.